Hey guys, it's Kyle. I just wanted to make a quick video because I know you're into either editing Final Cut or VR 360 stuff. Um, I'm here at CMAC in one of the edit bays and I have an HTC Vive here with me and I just plugged it into this iMac uh, running Final Cut 10.4. So I had to, um, I had to load Steam and then I had inside Steam, I had to load Steam VR and then uh, Steam VR is running. I had to do a room setup. I, I had to set up the uh, little little sensors. Um, I did not need to set up the little little hand things. I'm not using those. I didn't set those up. Um, but I had to do a room setup. I thought I thought the uh, the accelerometer in the HTC Vive headset would just work on its own, but I, I still had to do the sensors, which I was a little bummed about, but oh well. But here we are. Um, I shot some footage here just outside CMAC and around CMAC uh, with a Theta V or Theta 5. I, I don't know if it's V or 5 because the previous one was the Theta S. Um, and yeah, the new one's the 5. We picked that up at CMAC. Um, I also, I had to, when the footage comes in from the Theta, it's not the Equa Rectangular. It's two circular files, and then you have to run the Theta software to make it an Equa Rectangular file and then export that, which took a little while. But I have these uh, five clips here. It works uh, pretty well. Um, so I have, I have the headset. It says it's not ready, but it's just because I, um, I set it down and, what, and it didn't see both of the both of the sensors, but once I pull it back and it sees the sensors, it kicks back on so I can uh, dismiss uh, the warning and I can minimize the Steam VR setting. But yeah, I've got, uh, I've got clips in my primary storyline from the Theta. I have the CMAC logo and I used 3D Transform up here to set it uh, down on the bottom of the screen. You can see I have the uh, headset going, I hid my browser, and I went to settings, and I said output to VR headset and near VR headset, so that's why when I move, when I move the headset, you see the movements on the screen, so it's, it's tracking uh, the movements from the HTC Vive, which is pretty cool, so I can, I just, just point, I can just point it down and see the CMAC logo that's almost entirely hiding the, uh, tripod that, or monopod that the 360 camera was sitting on. And if I spin all the way around, you say hi to Valley PBS behind me. Um, yeah, and then I just use this basic title. This is a new 360 uh, title. Let me open up my browser again and go to titles. Um, there's some new 3D titles that are ready to go, but uh, they drop right in. And then just the same way I use the 3D trans, sorry, 3D, 360 transform to uh, put my CMAC logo at the bottom, I chose to put this text kind of right above my head when I walk by here. But uh, scrubbing through, super smooth. Uh, you may notice the dots at the top. This footage isn't even rendered. And this iMac is not, it's not the latest iMac, it's the just, just the previous gen. Okay, all right, here's a clip. I, I need to fix this clip. My uh, starting point isn't quite right. I'm pointing the headset directly at my sensors and my my rotations a little weird so I'm gonna click on the clip and go to reorient uh, and I need to I need to fix my roll Whoop, uh, I need to fix my roll a little bit there that's that's a little bit better I'm gonna tilt down a little bit as well and then if I reset orientation um, it's not still not quite right but I, I need to play with this reorient I need to go this way and then maybe this way a little bit. That's where I want my scene to start. But now that I've done that, I've also, whoops, let's stay on this clip. I've also messed up my patch that's hiding the uh, tripod. So I need to go in and adjust my little patch there. There we go. Now we're hiding the tripod. Looks good. Looks good. So that's my little preview of editing 360 video with the HTC Vive headset. Works really well. Um, I'm having real, a lot of fun with it. I hope to shoot more 360 video with the Theta and edit it this way. All right, later.